So, I came home from school today and discovered a mysterious package sitting in front of my garage. What is this package? You're probably wondering. Well, I'm not sure what it is either. So why don't we open it up and find out. Wait a minute. I just remembered what it is. This, if you haven't figured it out yet, is a ColecoVision. <laughs> I ordered a ColecoVision about two weeks ago, and it finally arrived. So let's take this beast out and see what it looks like in person. Well, in person from my point of view. All right, prepare for the unveiling. There it is. First shot of the ColecoVision. Right. Holy shit. This thing is a beast. Look at how fucking huge this monster is. That is what you call a video game console. Yeah. Now, this thing looked like a girl in the videos I saw of it on YouTube. But in person, oh, it looks like a fucking beast that you do not want to mess with. It's like a big tank. I could probably throw a brick at this thing and it'll still work. That's how freaking beastly it is. There's the front. Even though you can't see it. <sighs> ColecoVision. Get a good shot of the front here. It's very reflective. I guess they uh, refurbished it because it looks really new. Yeah, this thing looks nice, damn. I'm willing to bet that they redid it. At least to the point where it looks nice and it works. Two controllers, as you can see, they seat right inside the console itself. You got your front logo here. I always liked the ColecoVision logo because it's a rainbowish. Because of its rainbow letter. You got your cartridge slot. Insert cartridge here. On off switch. Reset. And on the back here. You have. Your uh. Channel selector, three or four, and your AV out. Well, it's not AV, it's RF out. Coaxial out, I should say. Then you got your proprietary power adapter plug. All right. Oh, and then in the front, you have an expansion slot. 
where you can plug in the Atari adapter or a driving controller or an Atom computer. Now let's take a look at what else we got here. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> this power supply is huge. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. I feel like if I drop it, it's gonna crack open or something. Alright, I'm being f dead serious here. This is the biggest power AC adapter I have ever seen. Holy crap. Now I know exactly how the angry video game nerd feels about this thing. <laughs> it's freaking huge. Look, it even has a little pad so that it can rest against the wall properly. It's that big that it needs a freaking pad. 13233. I don't know if that's the model number or if it's, no, that's the model number back there. But holy noodles. This thing is like a monster. That, that is, I'm, I'm being dead serious. That's the biggest AC adapter I've ever seen. In fact, I don't even know if I'll be able to plug it in. I'm, I'm dead serious. I don't know if I could actually get this thing in. My, uh, my power strip. But it's tied together. This little twisty thing. Oh, and it came with Donkey Kong. The ColecoVision version. That's what a cartridge looks like for the ColecoVision. It's got some wear and tear on it, but other than that, it's a good cartridge. I plan to um, fix any of the labels on the cartridges I get for this machine so that they're not falling off. It will work a little bit better. Here's the uh, TV wire. So you can see it ends with a coaxial input and it starts with an RCA input. This looks like it's ancient. It looks like it came with the ColecoVision. Now we're going to take this apart. Okay. Take the one for the big motherfucking AC adapter. I have never seen an AC adapter this big. And I don't think I ever will. In fact, I think they came out with an, uh, another model of the AC adapter because of this reason. Because the first one was so huge. There we go. There's a little wear on the wire, but it looks good to me. So here's your big fucking AC adapter. Here's your TV cord. Here's your game, Donkey Kong. And here is ColecoVision. Coleco. And that is it. Thank you for watching.